All right, a happy day at Plains Hot Rods. We've got the Gen 3 sleeved force internal coyote motor buttoned up and into the truck. So I think we had a bare block about five days ago. And uh, after some wrestling today and several days of uh, assembling, uh, it's looking pretty good. Uh, had uh, really about the only difficulty I think we had a motor mount backwards or upside down something and uh, pinched the wire clip between the bell housing and the and the block once we we figured out we had a little interference there we got all that straight and it it buttoned on up uh, I do like the SPI epoxy satin black on the valve uh, I mean on the timing chain cover that that looks really nice and uh, might uh, stop all the uh, aluminum dust and corrosion you know when these things sweat a little bit I think it looks good with the black all the black inside here sun's gone to uh, ceramic coat long tube headers so they'll have a little bit of a goldish look against that, all that black. Uh, it's going to look nice. So hopefully uh, spray some ceramic coat tomorrow and uh, let that cure a few days and get this thing back together. Uh, may have it running, I'd say, next weekend or before. So five, six days of hard work, and I think it's going to be a little bit of a downhill slide to to the end here so i'll be glad to get it out of my shop i got my stuff to work on now so anyway getting some room in here uh get this table out of here now that we got this built added a little added a little shop art uh, my header collection growing up there so those are all the uh, uh different style of uh windsor headers through the years the the two inner ones that's first set of headers first performance product i ever bought probably back around 1979 1980 maybe uh so hung on to them i think it looks pretty cool but hopefully the next video we have this running till next time